Ah, just basking in the air, the smells, the vibe of this cool old growth forest ecosystem that I'm in with this lovely little tributary because areas like this are becoming rare and rare these days. And you know, it's a prime example of just how interconnected everything on this planet is. So for example, big old Western red cedars like this get up to 80% of the nitrogen they need to grow big, tall, and strong from little creeks like this. I mean, not the water here, but from the salmon that swim up it from the ocean every year, swimming up here, spawning in these shallow gravel beds and then dying. And then their carcasses are dragged off by bears and fishers and birds deep into the forest where they decompose and that nitrogen is returned to the soil here so that trees like this can grow big, tall, and strong. So when we cut these trees down, little creeks like this are going to fill with sediment. There's going to be less shade, so the water temperatures are going to rise, and it's going to make it harder for those salmon to spawn every year. And salmon populations are already decimated as is, but that's a whole other thing. So with less fish, that means that the future of these forests are going to continue to suffer, even if we plant five for every one we cut down. So it's all connected, you know, less fish, less trees. What kind of world do we want to live in?